Ladies and gentlemen, the unfortunate news for you, we only have one fight left, but it is your main event of the evening, Colchester makes a noise! Ladies and gentlemen, Cage Warriors Academy presents three final rounds in the professional flyweight division for the Cage Warriors Academy flyweight title. This will be a first fighter into the cage in the blue corner, weighing in at 125 pounds. Representing Gods of War, Heron And now please welcome us upon. And now, please welcome his opponent in the red corner, weighing in at 125 pounds, representing BKK Fighters, Lee Mitchell! Title. Aaron Lalai fighting out of the blue corner, the black and white tie shorts taking on BKK fighters Lee Mitchell. And the white, green with orange trim tie shorts. That was nice when you end a long 40 fight card with two flyweights. Absolutely, there's certainly going to be action in this one. Again. Both fighters with six fights experience each. Both have tasted victory and defeat in their careers. Now looking for their, I believe, the first pro title for either young man. Yeah. That straight right landed on. Lee Mitchell, but Aaron's had success with that right high kick. Just painting out there to see how he'd bite. Strong kick to the body there. Close in the distance. Little foot stomp there, knee to the body. Looking to dump his men. Good hit by Lee Mitchell. Yes. To land on top. Aaron's doing a smart thing though. Reaching up for those legs to try to stretch things out and get to a better base. As he's got to settle down in on that half guard. Yeah, it's good work, good work to secure the last, uh, the half guard. Thought Mitchell was looking for the neck there for a moment. But Lilai, back against the cage, standing up. Good head position by Lee up against the cage here. And Aaron Smart, he's trying to work that wrist control. And pulls him down with it. Crucif crucifixes the arm. Oh, he's gonna lock down in that half guard. And again, Aaron's doing a really strong job of making sure he's controlling that wrist of Lee Mitchell's. Yep. Protecting him, but it's also giving him the opportunity to be able to get his hips to the side. As soon as, as, soon as Mitchell Finds a bit of room, he starts chipping away. He's looking to try and take the back. Stepped over with one hook. Aaron Smart, though, he's trying to keep his back as tight to Mitchell as he can so Mitchell can't take his back. Guys work. Defending well from his, 
from a terrible position. Lee, Lee uses the cage to push it away. Aaron Smart, he's pushing himself back up to where Lee's can't really extend all the way out. Mitchell now gets both hooks in again. Has that back control. Aaron doing a good job of fighting those hips to kind of turn off of it. Lee working to try to get underneath that chin. Yeah. It's good hand fighting from Aaron Lalai here. And tries to pull him over. All gonna try and isolate the arm with the leg. Give you every effort for trying that. That was lovely. Still in top. Still in top position. Aaron did a good job of avoiding taking a lot of damage as he's trying to build up. Absolutely. But so far, this round is just one way traffic. Yeah, Lee Mitchell's doing a good job of keeping everything nice and tight. He's got the arm triangle. 10 seconds left in this first round. He tries to roll through there to Aaron Lalai. Lee Mitchell ends that round on top, and that's a very tough. Our referee reminding them all, keep your fists closed in no uncertain terms. We touch gloves. Round two of potential three here. Kate North is happy Southeast. And this for our pro flyweight title. Aaron Lalai went into that high kick. Just says he had had some success with it in the first. He's went back to it in the second. Mitchell called it. And then almost golf. Almost ate the high knee. But once he closed that distance, this is kind of second round, same as the first, except Mitchell has far more time to work from here. Yes, but he also has far more time to make mistakes, so he's got to be very careful with the way he rides. He doesn't want to get too reckless. And Aaron's big thing is he's trying to figure out a way to make see, for Lee to make a mistake. Shelter cross faces Lee. Yes. It's a, not a not a good position though for Aaron Lalai here. Nice, you tried to scramble, but Mitchell wise to it now has that arm well and truly hooked between those legs. Again, chasing, trying to trap that arm perhaps with the leg. Yeah, it, the arm is trapped and Lee's trying to work it up underneath the chin. He's riding so high though that Aaron's gonna be able to sleep at this back door. And he's gonna have to be careful. Looking to try and take that arm. There's a strong position for Lee Mitchell to be in here though. Well, that's just it. He was riding a little high and it was a good position for Aaron as long as Aaron swam. Lee's now got to look to work his back up. Because Aaron's going to be able to land some pretty hard shots here in about a half second if Lee's not careful as he's standing up. Yeah, Lee's a wise to that. And again, using the risk of trouble. Oh, tried to roll his man, but now the lie on, on Lee Mitchell's back. He has neither hook in, though, so this gives Lee the opportunity to be able to kick his hips free and then he's gonna wanna circle over it. Again, again. And the lie doing the right thing here just to try and keep control. Yeah. I, Lee was smart to try to back out this back door right here and circle around. Aaron's been smart because he was holding on. He could keep control. He's got that arm crucifix now over on the right hand side. And Lee just powers up. Shakes stand. him off. There's a reason why he's called Little Hulk. <laughs> and again, tries to get the hook in. And again, Aaron works his hips out 
but keeps him far enough away that it creates a stunt. Holy! Uh -oh. Thought he was going in to try and get that guillotine. Aaron, two on one there. He's big brother, and he's doing exactly what he needs to do here to avoid taking any damage. Lee's got to drop his hips down, try and free that arm. Short elbows right inside here would work out pretty good. His hips are going to be high. He's got taken down. Yeah, and the lies doing very well at recognizing those moments that Mitchell is out of position. Yeah, whether Lee is too high, riding off to the side. Aaron's done a very good job of realizing that and then capitalizing on the mistakes that Lee's missing. He's got made. both butterflies in, uses that to uses that to reverse the position. 55 seconds left to go. Here, I, if I was in Lee's corner, I'd say sit down on that leg, let's start throwing some yeah. elbows. Swim that elbow over. Lalai again. Lalai does, does well defensively. He does, but he doesn't take a ton of yeah. damage. Whenever it looks like he's in just a horrible position, he finds another way out of it. And as you say, takes no damage. 24 seconds left. Nice elbows from the bottom. But Controlling the posture in the head. And Aaron Lalai will end this one in that top control. Perhaps two out of the red corner. Nostradamus prediction. Aaron throws a high outside leg kick. Done. Ooh, ooh, at me. Up the middle. Ah, there's that head kick. I knew it was coming. And you figure from Mitchell, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, one of the biggest things behind it as well is you don't want to put yourself in a bad position. So you got to not take too many deaths. I mean, the whole point behind it is don't be passive, but don't be reckless. Landed a left hand there that caused Aaron Lalai to back up a moment. Lalai, though, he throws out that left and then follows it with the right high kick. That right high kick. It, it's clean, and he throws it really smooth. There's no setup for it. There's no telegraphing it. Third round started off as a kickboxing match. And neither man's looked for the clinch or the takedown yet. Uh, both guys are just happy to kind of stay inside the center of the cage. Uh, Aaron was smart. He went to the body there. That one oh, landed nice and clean. And as a result, Mitchell had closed the distance almost immediately afterwards. On to the back now, though. Is Lee's going to try and drag him down there. Uh, Aaron just drops down because he's trying to roll through. He's got what it looks to be. Yeah, I thought he had a Kimura grip. That's what I was going to say. It looked like he might have that Kimura. That's why he dropped down. Lee was smart and just sat on top of it. Aaron now goes to that wall to try to stand up. And does. He's able to slide Lee off of his back. Mitchell, though, stands sticky. But there's some good takedown defense on display here from Aaron Lalai in this third round. Yeah, I, and Aaron's did a good job about getting back up to his feet. He rushed to the side of the cage because he didn't want to sit underneath him anymore. Lee's got this double leg now. And he dumps his man down again, but Aaron Lalai gets his feet back underneath him as quickly as he's down. Yeah, he's tempted to get right back up. And he's got both, trying to get both hooks in now. Does on the back. And again, Aaron Lalai's gonna try and hand fight here and make sure that he's not giving up anything underneath his chin. And he's gotta be careful that he doesn't let him scoot too far down to where he's able to turn his hips and end up in guard. Mitchell happy to control, uses that to get back into the half guard there. But again, right now, 
all the work for Aaron Lalai to do, not the work for Lee Mitchell. I mean, the big thing behind it is Lee's got to stay active and busy on top, otherwise they're going to stand him back up. It's not like he can just coast through it. Aaron, though, does need to start to work to get back up. He's got to be careful, though, because Lee continues to try and take his back and sweep up underneath his chin. He is getting high, so if Aaron can work his hips just right, he's going to be able to reverse his position as he did in the second. I mean, like, like his defense has been exceptional, but only because Lee Mitchell's putting such pressure on him. I mean, it doesn't look like a comfortable position at all. Looking for the leg lock. Looked like he was going for a banana split there for a second. Uh, that's not a comfortable position. No, there's nothing comfortable about a banana split. But again, staying heavy and staying on top, Lee Mitchell, and you've got to be, you've got to suggest that with 43 seconds to go, it becomes all on Aaron Lalai. Yeah, I mean, Aaron at this point, he needs to try to figure out a way to. Ooh, Rich Mitchell just had a chat about the, throwing that elbow. Yeah, the first one was a bit 11.30 to 5.30. He's 6.12. He, and again, Mitchell on the back, controlling Aaron Lalai. And it is just defense. Still time to have a chat with the referee. As they both just beat each other up to end this fight. Absolutely stunning end to the third round. Aaron Lalai not happy with his official. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score about 30 to 27 for your winner by unanimous decision. And now the Cage Warriors Academy professional flyweight champion in the red corner, Lee!